man, I just wanna let you guys know that I am loving this weighted vest right now. For those, for those of you guys who don't know, right now, all that's in my weighted vest is 33 pounds. I'm not gonna increase the weight yet because this is 33 pounds on top of my body weight, which makes the exercises so damn hard. Man, I really gotta start waking up earlier so I could train earlier because honestly, there's always gonna be kids at the park and I like to train with my shirt off, but yo, the kids at the park, I really don't wanna take my shirt off and have parents feeling kind, feeling some type of way, you know? On top of that, I don't really mind the kids watching me. They, they're inspired by me. Okay, so let me take this commentary a little bit more seriously to really inform you guys on how I'm training because in the official episode 2, which will be annotated on the screen, I was just like having a little reminiscing moment back to my middle school days, my elementary and high school days. So let me take it a little bit more seriously right now. By the way guys, I think I may be starting a Q&A real soon, so go follow my Instagram. I can't count. 8 reps. Now in this episode, I am doing pull day as you're seeing right now, and after this I'll be doing some legs, but I didn't do legs as much, you guys will see at the end of how painful it really was for me. But yeah, I'm basically doing pull, and I usually try to aim for 5 sets, but I'm okay if I end up at 4 sets or 3 sets after doing an exercise. I'm basically really aiming for failure, so if I fail, if I'm, if I'm completely fried at 3 sets, I'm okay. The same applies for reps. I'm aiming for 12 reps because I really just want to get a lot of time under tension, right? And of course the intensity will not allow me to hit 12 reps every single time. Therefore, if I end up failing at 10 reps, 8 reps, and sometimes I even fail at 5 reps, I'm okay. I'm okay with failing at 5 reps because 5 reps is still considered to stimulate hypertrophy. You guys get my point? So basically, if my first set ends at 12 reps, perfect. My second set ends at 10 reps, perfect. Third set ends at 7 reps, perfect. So my goal is to hit failure between 3 to 5 sets, preferably 5, and between 5 to 12 reps, as high as possible. You see guys, when you follow a pull, push, leg routine, so for example, I'm doing push right now, all you have to do is just think of pulling exercises because all pulling exercises typically will work out your biceps and your back whether you're doing horizontal pulls like a row, pull-ups or even upright rolls which I'll be doing with my weighted vest. So that's why I train with push-pull legs and not biceps and back and triceps and chest or legs and triceps. I don't do that bull crap. I just do push-pull legs. And I just, I just train until my, my back and my arms get tired and my chest gets tired. That's how I train. I don't say, oh, I chose three exercises today. Even though I completed all three exercises, I still have more in me, but I'm just gonna go home. Nah, I do pull day, I do pull exercises until my muscles get sore or get tired. That's it. So let a ninja further break this down for you guys. Look at how I'm still doing pull-ups while well, I'm doing chin-ups now. And I basically switched my grip for those of you guys who didn't realize, chin-ups, pull-ups, blah, blah, blah. And I started off with weight first, but after I burned out by doing pull-ups, which was focusing more on my back, I started to burn out with doing some chin-ups to really focus on my biceps. And yo, let me tell you, right now, as of right now, my biceps are burning me so bad. You guys will see in episode three. I don't even know if I'll be able to get a proper workout in. So pray for me, guys, pray for me. So let me clear it up for you guys. I started off with weighted pull-ups to focus on my back. After it got too heavy, I took off the weighted vest. I started doing body weight pull-ups. After that got too hard, I started doing some body weight chin-ups. Now I did five sets of pull-ups and I did five sets of chin-ups. So I basically separated the two and that really helped me get that hypertrophy response. Okay, so that is it for the pulling down motions. Man, my back and biceps are pretty sore right now, but it's time to get into the horizontal pulls. You see how I just ch I kept changing it up? Once I couldn't do normal pull-ups, I went to chin-ups. After I couldn't do normal chin-ups, I went to close grip. But yo, my biceps are sore, so it's time to do some horizontal pulls. Really, try to, really trying to damage that tissue, get swole. I think I might turn to size or strength. I was totally kidding, guys. I was totally kidding. I will never, ever, ever turn to size over strength. Anyway, look, notice how my grip is underhand because I'm really trying to focus on my biceps. But I only did one set like that because my biceps became fried. They couldn't work anymore. So I put the focus more on my back. I was able to do a lot more. And later on, after, like, after the third set, I took off the weighted vest because it got too heavy. 
So think of it like drop sets, like they aren't really drop sets, I'm just lowering the weight once I can't really handle it anymore. So if I can't handle it after 3 sets, I still do 2 more sets with body weight. Now of course guys, I understand that you cannot just use your body weight only to get really big, but it's just like in the gym. If you're doing bicep curls, you're not going to stick with 20 pounds, you're going to increase the weight. Just like I did with calisthenics, I increased the weight by adding a weighted vest. I'm still doing calisthenics, but I'm using weight. You see guys, so basically basically what I'm doing is, I start off some exercises with the weight of the vest, and that's why I can't do it with the weight of the vest anymore, or do it properly anymore. I go body weight so I can further overload the muscle. See, people really think that, oh, if you don't just go heavy 100% of the time, you ain't gonna, you're not going to overload. But guys, what do you guys think drop sets are? You go heavy and then you start going lighter. Just like with this, I'm going heavy with my, with my uh, weight of the vest, and I drop the weight and I use my body weight. So basically, it's all about the intensity. It's not about how much weight it is. You get it? That's why when you're doing a drop set, let's say you start at 50 pounds, you're not, you never start the exercise doing 20 pounds. You only ever go down to 20 pounds if you're doing a drop set. For let's say you're doing bicep curls. You're gonna do 50s, then you, then you do like 35s, and then you do 20s. Right, you wouldn't normally do 20s by itself, but after doing 50s and 35s, 20s feel like freaking 50s. You get my point now? I ain't done yet though. I still gotta do some upright rows. I think I'm gonna do upright rows every time I do pull day, and then I'm going to do legs after this. So I'm pairing the two together. Now as you guys can see, I'm using my weighted vest to do some upright rows. I know it's not calisthenics, but again, I'm mostly using calisthenics to bulk. I could use calisthenics to train my traps in this way by doing upside down uh, shrugs, but my arms are so tired so it wasn't going to be safe to do that. I probably would have dropped and like broke my neck on camera. And of course you guys won't be able to see that because I wouldn't be alive to upload the video. Let me say something real quick. I was actually nervous when it came down to uploading episode 1 and the first uncut episode of Bodybuilding with Calisthenics, but it was actually a pretty good success in its first 24 hours. Both videos got over a thousand views and it got a lot of, it got some pretty solid numbers in the comment section. Like I really actually like I thank you guys man. I just wanted to say that. Man, I'm getting hungry making this commentary. Yo, I didn't even eat breakfast yet. I'll be back guys. Huh? Exercising. Okay guys, I'm back! Nah, I'm just joking, I didn't even go and eat breakfast. You know what though guys? I really, I really, really, really want this bodybuilding series to become one of the biggest bodybuilding series you can possibly find on YouTube. A lot of people ask me why I don't train in the gym because I guess they don't watch some of my videos where I explained it. But basically guys, like I'm doing something different. Every YouTuber that you guys watch are already in the gym using dumbbells and barbells. Why not watch someone or support someone who's trying to do something a little bit different? Trying to train outside, trying to train using calisthenics, right? Doing pistol squats for legs instead of doing barbell squats for legs, right? I'm telling you guys, this will work. And you know what? For those of you guys who don't believe it and who wouldn't really want to try it now, at least watch me and see if I'm actually talking shiz or if what I'm talking is true or if it will work, right? At least watch it like an experiment. Because that, hey, at least it's something different, right? Now I think I broke down the workout routine pretty well, so I actually encourage a lot of you guys, try out this workout. A lot of you guys may underestimate pistol squats, but I'm telling you, these things burn like a mofo. That is that is why I only did pistol squats for legs that day. That's, that's the reason why, because it's so freaking painful. I usually do five sets, but man, after the third set, which you guys will see at the end of this video, I was done. I couldn't even go anymore. And then, the next day, yo, taking a dump was the most painful thing I possibly could have experienced in the washroom. Besides uh, my circumcision. Oh my gosh, I have to tell you guys that story one day. Probably. Unless it's TMI. Some of you guys may be like, yo, I don't want to hear about your dick. I want to hear about your circumcision. That's nasty. I want to hear about gains and making my muscles bigger. If you've made it all the way here, congratulations. I congratulate you on achieving such an impossible feat. Like damn, it was even hard for me to make this commentary last so long. This was a long ass video. 
anyway I do hope that you guys do enjoy the last part of the video I try to switch it up a bit you know just to make it a little bit more interesting I hope you guys bask in my pain as you guys hear me moan and groan on camera but you know what I'm just trying to show you guys the struggle is real and through the struggle is growth and through the struggle is gains and that's why I'm gonna be the biggest mofo on YouTube just lying strength over size out oh my gosh let me do a little point of view action. Y'all are gonna hear a lot of moaning. It's funny, point of view, moaning, porn. <laughs> Just joking. Jeez. Baby, won't you come my way? Last set, six, five, seven, Ooh. eight, go on, nine, I hate legs, ten, oh. ten more reps, bro, ten more reps, oh, my gosh, I hate legs, I hate legs, shit. I'm, I'm trying guys, I'm trying to get the setup. Two, I'm hot. Three, four, okay, come on, six more. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. I am done.